大家好，我是罗启平，我是第一位 artist， 在 Hinbus d e p o t 做一个工作室拿来创作。Hi， I'm Rizal of Brooklyn Cafe Bar by Rasta Bruco。Brooklyn was the first outlet at Hinbus in 2014. This is Juanita, and I've been the gallery manager at Hin since 2015. It's still amazing to look back at the transformation that Himbas Depot has gone through. The complex was first built in 1947 to house and maintain Hin Company's then-famous blue buses. At that time, Jalan Gugwara was known as Brick Kiln Road. Hin was designed in an Art Deco style, which was rare back then, and it must have been the most stylish bus depots in Penang, maybe even in Malaysia. Over the decades, however, Hin evolved from a bus depot to a junkyard and car workshop, and then was left vacant to wither under the brutal tropical weather. In 2010, Hin came into the possession of its current owners, who hosted Ernest Zakharovich's "Art is Rubbish is Art" exhibition in 2014. That was the point the derelict, shabby old building took a turn that led to what it is today. After the exhibition, the team of local artists involved in setting it up proposed that the space be permanently converted into an independently run art space. Since then, Hin has evolved into a community project managed by a small but passionate creative collective, based on the belief that there should be no limit to the expression of art. The exhibition space and the deck were upgraded and fitted to host more exhibitions and events. As an artist-led venue, the collective carefully curates the various exhibitions and events held at Hin to support independent artists and to provide a space for unconventional art shows. The Hin Artist Residency Program was also started to nurture and encourage creative talents. Having been able to continuously showcase my works as a creative has been an absolute blessing. We are a small, close-knit community that holds acro jams every Sunday at Hin. Hin never once failed to surprise us with their cultural events and vibrant community. I have my Zumba class on every Monday. I like Hin bars much. The deck is open air, and yet won't afraid of rain. While Hin also rents out the space to corporate events, preferential rates are often given to social enterprises whose goals align with its own, creating a sustainable community and providing a platform for artistic expression. The previously tarred bus driveways were turned into landscape lawns after being turfed and planted with trees. Later on in 2018. Hin even adopted two rain trees from a nearby development site. Urban Exchange, the first international street art festival in Penang, was initiated by Hin and added art not only to the structures within the compound but also to the streets of Georgetown. In collaboration with Vans, a skate ramp was built for the neighborhood kids to hang out at. Features like this were created to expose art to the general public, without that feeling of intimidation when entering conventional art galleries. For many visitors, Hin would be the first art gallery or art space they had ever visited. Woodsman officially joined the Hin family early 2019. We are a woodworking space that actively encourages and promotes the maker habit. My friends and I set up a pottery studio in Hin. All of us are volunteers, and our purpose is to introduce the joy of pottery making to the public. This is Legion, and I'm slowly converting the library of over 3,500 books into a war and history one. Buku also houses homegrown herbs. It's also a base for an ongoing research on Penang's wild medicinal herbs. What I like about Hin is its green serenity for me to concentrate and create on weekdays. As well as the hustles and bustles on weekends for me to interact and share ideas with people of diverse backgrounds. The weekend hin market was crafted to prioritize local artists, crafters, makers, and designers. It started with six stalls in 2015, which quickly grew to 70 stalls and a visitor count of more than 1,200 each weekend, 
from all walks of life. Alongside the market, visitors have also enjoyed a great variety of activities and performances. Many of these local artists and entrepreneurs have been able to build an audience, moving on to set up their own shops, studios, cafes and restaurants, sometimes within the Hin compound itself. Hi, I'm Jimmy Tan. I started Coffee Rescue in mid-2015. We sell coffee through our blue coffee truck at Hin Bar's pop-up market every Sunday. We are a creative space that supports arts and culture, mainly through media and audiovisual production. It's been really great to be part of such a vibrant arts community. What I really appreciate about Himba's Depot is that it really brings like-minded people from all around the world. It really encourages me to continue to pursue what I love to do. Hin continues to refurbish the many nooks and corners of its compound, which currently sprawls over 60,000 square feet, including eight shop houses on Jalan Gutwara and three others facing Jalan Kampung Jawa Lama. The vision is to create sustainable avenues for startups and artist studios to thrive, ultimately making Hin a vibrant hub for the creative community in Penang. <laughs>